here, and today we are doing some modding. Um, as you, you could read down in the description below, uh, this is a pseudo commission of sorts. Um, a friend of mine uh, on the Foam Coalition, uh, Chris, had um, asked me if I could do a couple of pistols for him because he likes my work and all that stuff, and he wanted to get something themed. Uh, so we talked about it, and he wanted a pair of Warhammer 40k themed pistols, and his pistol of choice are these Dino Attack pistols. Um, it's a single shot pullback blaster, uh, a little smaller than I had, that I anticipated, but there is a lot of detail on these, which I really like. So these are going to paint up super nice. Um, and a little fun thing about this is when you pull the trigger, you have blowback, which is just neat. Um, I told him I'll do, you know, if you send me two, I'll do the pair because, you know, originally he was going to pay me, but then instead he did something else and I got 3D printed spam parts, which look absolutely amazing. And he also went a little overboard with the parts and not only sending me like all the body stuff, which cool, he also sent me like the... All the accessories in different colors, uh, and in my colors too. So I have like the body, and then I have like every little add-on in red, silver, <laughs> and purple, which I didn't ask him for, but he just did that. So since he didn't ask for this, the two pistols, that's fine. But I also want him to have something that he may be able to use it like an indoor or something like that. So. I happen to have one of these things, and so, yeah, he's getting three Warhammer 40k themed uh, items. So, uh, after discussing with him, what we're going to do is, he wanted one done up in a Necron theme, which is fine, that's, you know, that's why I also told him, I was like, oh, if you had the one with the green blades, that would have been perfect, so he actually bought these specifically so I could work on them. But yeah, one is going to be Necron themed. Uh, the other, I haven't decided yet. This is just going to be a surprise that happens in the video. Uh, but I'm either going to do the other pistol either in the in an Iron Hands or a Blood Angels theme because they're the ones, according to my lore master uh, Wolf Boy, are the ones that battle the Necrons the most. So this way he kind of has dueling pistols. I think that's going to be me. Uh, this one... Uh, because I am me, I am going to do this up in kind of a, uh, Dark Angels theme. Uh, so it's going to be very similar to the weapon I had, the 40k pistol that I have done, and also the, um, incinerate, I think it's called the incinerator rifle that is on my Raven Wings custom figure. And if you want to go check that out, you can click up here. Uh, since this is already red and black... Obviously, I'm still going to paint this up to make it look dope. Uh, but yeah, there's also a lot of detail on this, which, again, is going to paint up super nice. So I'm really looking forward to getting to work on these. So Because I also had a very long day at work and uh, a couple of arguments. So I need to get my mind off of it. So let's get to work. Okay, so this is going to be the main blasters that were working on like i said the other one is an add-on that i'm doing for chris uh just because like i said he sent me oh, so many parts um and it's just my wife saying thank you for it but yeah these are honestly pretty nice um i gotta say i love the little uh blow faux bow black faux blow back that they have on these things um it's got this little knife uh that comes out it's it is hard plastic so i suggest not you know actually hitting somebody with it um this is the blue and green version they also do have uh red and blue versions of this uh but since i had meant since chris mentions me that he wanted a necron theme and i was mentioned to him like oh it would have been cool if because i was originally getting a blue and red but i had mentioned oh it would have been cool if you had green these happen to be on amazon so he got these and sent them to me rather than uh stealing the one from his son and replacing it at a later date so yeah it all works out greatly but yeah there's a lot of nice detail on here 
Um, I don't know how well the camera is picking up on it, but yeah, like you have full wood for the in for a grip, um, a little bit of a bandage wrap, which I'll be honest, I'm getting a little sick of. It was nice with the zombie strike, but like on anything that isn't a traditional blaster, it's getting a little played out. Uh, but yeah, you have like all these nice little nicks and everything on it. You have the scratches on the blue and like the cutout like tears, so to speak. Um, it would have been nice if they if they didn't just mirror it on one side to the other. It would have been nice if one side had one pattern and the other side had a different pattern. But, you know, you get what you get. Uh, but yeah, I honestly, this is this is going to paint up really nicely. So. For the Necron theme, uh, what I'm going to go with is I'm going to go with a silver, gold, and black um, for that one. And then leave these green because Necron energy weapons have that green energy on it. So it would be nice if this was just like a green energy blade or something like that. So it will fit with the aesthetics of it. Um, and then I think I'm going to do like the wrap either i don't know if i'm going to do an actual like the tape wrap like i did on my short hunting rifle or if i'm just going to paint and weather it i mean this is going to get weathered like this is going to be a very very nice cosmetic piece uh for the second one i think i'm gonna go with the iron hands um their weapon themes and armor themes are white black and silver uh, which the silver I can kind of maybe get away with a gunmetal, so it would be like bl black gunmetal and white, which I think would contrast pretty nicely together. And again, so much detail on these that it's really going to paint up very nicely. Uh, for this right now, my theme is going to be basically um, Dark Angels weaponry. So it's going to be red and black, and I know it already has the red and black on it, but I want to add a little more to it. Like, I want to do this whole bottom uh, black and do this, do the uh, the red, maybe the um, that metallic red that I have that looks really, really nice. And again, a nice amount of detail on here where I can have some fun putting in some really, really nice detail work on here. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to doing that. Um, I'm going to work on this one last cause that's probably going to take the most time. I'm going to get started on the pistols and the pistols I'm going to do basically together. Uh, we'll start off with some vinyl dye. Um, I may show how some of it's doing. I apologize about my phone. I forgot to silence it. Um, I'm think Dave is sending me some uh, memes. So thank you for my memes, Dave. They always bring a smile and yeah so yeah i'm gonna start taking these things apart um maybe i'll show what these look like uh disassembled just so we can have the internal looks at it and then uh we'll get to sanding and sticker removal and then you know start working on getting figuring out what i want to paint what and all that stuff so see you in a moment okay so i've gotten the base painting done for the necron blaster um i haven't even started the iron hands one but i wanted to kind of do them one at a time so i didn't get these confused um so i'll do the updates on the paint for the iron hands pistol uh but yeah i'm not gonna like refilm everything that i did to it but so yeah so far the necron pistol looks pretty good um i'm not 100 percent sure i may have to go back over here because i think that no, I think that gets covered up by the... That should be covered up by the slide. Yeah. So, whoop. So, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Um, paint is still tacky, so I'm not going to do anything with it yet. I'm going to wind up uh, doing most of this tomorrow... Most of the detailing tomorrow, but just wanted to show you how things came out. So, my plan for this is I'm leaving the wood, this... Um, the charcoal... Well, actually, not even, it's not the charcoal. It's actually just regular gray um, vinyl dye. Uh, just because I think it works better with the silver and gold, or in this case, dark steel and gold. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the paint I used for this um, was actually a new paint I wanted to try. Yeah, yeah, go figure. I'm doing a commission with, like, brand new paints. 
but either way um so yeah i found these at home depot uh bear premier um spray paints it's supposed to be it adheres to wood metal plastic and more um corrosion resistant not that it needs it but um yeah so i picked these up because i'm like these would were the necron colors i was really kind of looking for so uh yeah so i figured i'd give these a shot and so far they're working out pretty nice but like with any metallic paint and especially today is kind of humid because it was raining earlier um i'm definitely going to give these time to really really dry uh just because like i said even though i can touch it i can feel the tackiness but yeah so this is the dark steel and it's a little lighter than what i usually i usually get my gunmetal for but yeah so that's all said and done here's a better look at it on the slide um yeah it looks it honestly does look really really nice and here is that gold which again also looks really really nice so what my plans going forward are going to be is this so i wasn't sure what i wanted to do with the blade but i think i'm going to paint it up a bit um now i do have a couple of hand paints that i'm going to be using i have this uh deco art uh silver metallic acrylic paint uh which i've used in the past before it's actually a pretty nice one um, but i also have some of my citadel paints so i do have my good go-to lead belcher which is a nice kind of gunmetal i also have this one uh retributor armor uh which is kind of like a goldish or kind of more of a copper color um i think that will pair nice on the gold uh, maybe to put like some highlights on here or something i think would be really really nice and then on the uh pistol grip we have this faux bandaging and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for um, a tried and true, my wraith bone. So this way it gives it kind of like a cloth look to it, but it will give it, it's not going to be like a stark white. It's going to have like that off white color. Uh, it's supposed to be bone. So it will look like it's been kind of handled. Plus, you know, I'm going to wind up weathering it up and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get to work on these a little bit um probably just start working on this one since everything else kind of has to sit overnight and yeah uh probably the next thing you'll see on this is what how i did um the detailing and then probably just weather it up so we'll see you in a moment when that's all done okay so I've begun work on the Iron Hand pistol. Now, my concept for these is kind of like maybe found weapons or, you know, um, I that's my idea at least because it's helping to incorporate these wraps on all this stuff. Um, just a quick preview. Um, I will showcase this more later, but I did complete the Necron um, version of this and I'm really, really happy with how it came out. Um, I did some dirty weathering down here. I didn't do too much on the body of the blaster. I did some very nice, or at least what I feel is very nice rust detailing where those holes are on that. And then just some light detail work all over. Um, unfortunately, I have learned that the lead belcher and the dark steel are pretty close in color because this is supposed to be the lead bed belcher. This is the dark steel. That's lead belcher in the um the recess is there and it's very hard to tell the difference but it's going to be a little different when i do this one so yeah i'll go into more detail on that one later and you'll see more b-roll footage but my concept for the iron hands pistol is i'm going with the white and black theme even though you do see a lot of gray here um i'm offsetting that gray as it's going to be the dark steel uh because i figured it's a pistol you know it would have some metallic components to it the base of the grip is going to remain the black with the gray wrap on it instead of doing another white wrap and then weathering it down i'm going to try gray on here um, and then the offset is a lot of these gray parts are going to go dark steel except for the wrap that's just that's going to stay gray uh, what i want to do though is on this you can see the black um, 
the black square here and it's like that on the other side but i'm going to be putting the iron hand emblem there and i've already done some stencils on my cricket and i've actually already um tested it with obviously this one and it was on the other side but this is actually going to fit perfectly in there so i'm very excited to see how that's going to come out um chances are i'm just going to tape this off do this in the dark steel and then just hand paint or um hand or rod uh, by hand do the um the stencil work and then obviously all the detail work um i did want to do something different for this though i'm going to go a little bit more heavy on the weathering uh for this uh so to kind of offset the white i'm going to have like a little bit more um silver or rod uh, the lead belcher dry brushing to kind of knock it down a bit to make it not look as neat because you can already see all like the nicks and stuff on there uh but the one thing is i'm gonna try and do or would love to do and hope to god it really works is the cutouts here for like the scratch attacks or whatever i did rusty on the necron blaster for this one i want it to almost be like kind of like an acid damage uh so i'm going to do all of the weathering first and then i'm going to apply the weathering for that um and for that i actually have like a bunch of different greens that i'm going to try layering uh so yeah that's honestly going to be like really fun the only thing i had was uh originally the auric flesh uh so i told my wife who's going to the mall i'm like hey can you pick me up some greens and uh my wife and the kids each picked one and honestly i really like it it was a great great it's gonna go great i think i'm very excited about it so yeah I'm going to get to work on starting some of the detail work on this and then I am going to, well, actually I'm just going to work a little bit on detail on this tonight. I'm going to let everything else set up overnight with the vinyl die and then put the, uh, start doing the dark steel tomorrow. Cause it's actually getting late. I worked all day today. I'm getting tired. I'm getting a little rambly as you can tell. So yeah, uh, just a little bit of light work, light paint work while I'm editing and then uh, more of it is going to be done tomorrow. So very excited about how these are coming out. Okay. So I did try filming, uh, this part, but uh, apparently the storage on my PC actually filled up and it stopped recording halfway through. So I have no idea what recorded. So this is just the filler part of it now. So the reason you're looking at this, um, 10 round dart zone clip here is because this is what I kind of use as test pieces to try and figure out how I want to do paints or how paints are going to react with certain things. Um, because I got a lot of them, I don't use them and they really work very nice as an analog. Like this is one that I've used in the past to find out how, uh, certain, uh, clear coats react with my metallic paints. Um, and the best part is, is you have a totally other si another side to use. And that's what I've done here. I've been trying to figure out and play around with how I want to do the acid damage. And at first I was like, okay, we'll start dark and layer and layer up. Um, so the fours, the four colors that I've been using are uh, base auric flesh and base Caliban green. And then a layer color of moot green and a contrast of striking scorpion and this is oh and the reason i have it split like this is because this has the matte clear coat on it and this is just regular paint to match the slide as it is right now um so this these two tests were uh we started off with the caliban then did some auric flesh over it uh, the moot green and then the striking scorpion on top of it and i mean it looks okay it's all right um but then i did this one and i kind of like this one a lot more and it was actually reversed i started off with the contrast down at the bottom to give me that kind of like nice like kind of knee not neon but that like really bright bright green bottom um i followed that up by a little bit of the moot green on top of it to give it like a little stability i used very 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 little um of the auric flesh but then when i put on top of it 
is this color here. And what that is, it's a drop of the Caliban green and two drops of Moot green. And it made a very nice, like subtle, a darker, it, it didn't keep it as dark as the Caliban green because I think that's what's throwing me off here. But it makes it just nice enough to where like, if I go along like from the back, just along the edges, I think that would look really, really nice. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using this pattern and I do like it more without the clear coat. I don't know um, if the clear coat did that or not, but um, I think I may have also did a little bit of, or I, I think the orc uh, flesh might have been a little bit wet, so it mixed in, so it looks a little nicer. But yeah, I kind of like that concept of it so that it like has more of a darker where it like actually it away at the metal but then it gets lighter because it was a little as it goes out because it's a little bit more diluted so yeah i think that's where we're going to go with on that so that's what i'm going to do with the slides um so yeah i'm going to take a shot at those i uh, hope to god i don't screw it up and then um clear coat those i still have to do the um the iron hand on the piece of the pistol i already started weathering that so and those are all clear coated um except that piece i'm not i'm rambling i'm sorry uh let me get to work and then this way i can show you how all of this came out okay so skipping ahead uh i've already done the painting for the uh shell of the um egg shot big blast i forget the name of it i'll throw it somewhere or i'll mention it later whichever but yeah, so since this is going to be my Dark Angels themed one that I'm making for Chris, um, f you know, just on my own, um, I couldn't fit the Latin um, Fiat Voluntus Tua, which is Latin for Thy Will Be Done, which is one of the mottos of the Dark Angels. But I was able to fit something else, which is For the Lion, which, you know, refers to uh, Lionel Johnson. Welcome back, uh, my Primarch, but... The one thing I'm a little bummed with, but I don't, I might be able to salvage it. I don't know. When I did the back end, I was doing it in a white for the Dark Angels logo, but I don't know how well it's showing up, but it peeled all along the edges and I'm really kind of bummed about that. So I don't know if I'm going to try and weather it or if I may just try and see if peel, I can peel it off and then do it in, in the silver like I did for that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if anything, I may have to sand it, repaint it, and then retry it if I can't peel it off, because now it feels like it's actually adhering, um, which means I should have left it on, but I didn't want to risk leaving the, um, the masking on for so long. But then again, it's also the lacquer paint, so which I know is durable as anything, but yeah. Um, yeah, I may wind up... Uh, peeling this off or sanding it and retrying it and then just doing it in the silver this way it kind of all matchy matches um i don't know i'm gonna think about this one on a while but i gotta get the other side done so yeah we'll see where this goes now okay so the commissions are finally done uh this was probably took me about on and off a little over a week or so to get finished but i have to say I'm really, really happy with how these came out. Um, it's just, I'm really, we'll just go over them and I'll have B-roll going over this as well for better looks. But we're going to start off with the Necron pistol and, or the Necron theme pistol. And I got to say, I'm really happy with how this came out. Uh, I, as soon as he told me uh, he want, Chris wanted Necrons, um, I was just like, okay, I I already, this was already in my head the second he said that, and I'm really happy how it came out. Um, we started off with some gray vinyl dye and some black vinyl dye over the more metallic parts. Uh, the This main part here was the base of the gray. Uh, wound up doing some hand painting, I believe. Um, yeah, I believe it was, I hand painted the wrap and... Also did some light hand painting around other places, like this 
I guess this br I, the bracket by the uh, priming handle and the two brackets up front on the slides, um, along with just highlighting the bolts. And also, I did do the switch that's above the trigger that's just molded into the plastic and also the piping. Now, the piping, I will admit, I'm a little disappointed in how it came out because I was hoping there would have been enough of a contrast between the dark steel and the lead belcher. And unfortunately, there really wasn't. Um, so it kind of blends together, but it still looks nice, I will say this. Uh, the one thing that I'm really happy that worked out nicely is the fact that the priming handle and the knife were originally were the green and not the blue, because then I didn't have to paint everything. Because my first thought was Necron weapons usually have like kind of a green energy to them, or at least the ones that I've seen. So I'm like, that's what I wanted to do with this. And it just came out so nice. Uh, the only modding I really did to it, other than the cosmetics, is I wound up just popping out the AR. Uh, there's no spring upgrade, but without the AR, I gotta say, this thing does, it, it's a little bit more snappy, so to speak. And of course, the blowback feature is still in there. And the knife folds still perfectly. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how this one came out. Um, especially on, and I'm remiss for like kind of leaving this part out, but the rust on the slide, I, I was so happy with how that came out. Now I did rust effects on the Fallout 4 short hunting rifle, but that was more for a weathered effect. This was more of for a damage effect, especially since I had the holes to work with and I just wasn't brushing it over like already exposed metal or something. The fun thing I did also was just to kind of, I guess, keep it going, so to speak, was on underneath the slide, since it has the holes in it, I did put the rust color underneath there, so when the slide moves, it doesn't just all of a sudden go from, it doesn't have that just stark steel color underneath it, it has the rust effect underneath it, so it looks like it kind of got messed up underneath it, but yeah. Uh, other than that, the only weathering I really did was on the lower part around the bandage uh, or the wrap that's on the handle. Now, I know this wouldn't be um, 40K lore appropriate, I guess you can say, but I was going for a theme, and honestly, I needed to kind of work with it because I could have just backfilled the whole thing with, like, epoxy putty and then sanded it down, but honestly, I didn't like that idea because then I would have had to also get rid of the wood grain. And I really like the wood grain, especially with the fact that with the silver or the steel and the gold, the fact that I decided to keep the wood kind of gray, it blends to, it still fits like well enough. And I'm really happy with that. So the second thing we worked on was this one, which is the iron hand steam uh, pistol. Now, this was the one that Chris said, do whatever you want with it, so that's what I did. I wanted to find a faction that normally would go against the uh, the Necrons, and it was either the Blood Angels or the Iron Hands, according to my buddy George, and I wanted to go with the Iron Hands because while I was trying to keep with the theme of the weapon and not the actual, like, Astartes armor... If I did the Blood Angels, it would have just been an all-black pistol, and that really would have been kind of boring. Um, or just a black and silver pistol, and again, kind of boring. I like the fact that they had the white shrouds or the white parts of those pistols or their weapons on the bolters and on the plasmas, and I really like that idea, so that's why I went with that. Um, but yeah, this came out really nice. Um, I did a gray wrap on this one, and again, weathered the wrap as well, along with uh, some, along with a light weathering over everything else. The what I wound up doing for the slide and the Iron Hands pistol, I did a little bit more fine detailing, I would say, because there's scratches and dings all over these things. The other one is all metal, so it really doesn't. It wouldn't pay to try and do the lead belcher in the dark steel because, as I showed, it doesn't really, like, it blends too easily. Where on white and black, I could do lead belcher and you could see the dings and the scuffs and all of that. 
for the priming handle, I actually did prime it and then I hand painted it with lead belcher. Uh, and everything is also clear coated on this and on the others as well. Uh, some of the uh, extra details I did on here. I didn't do the back sh the back bracket on here, but I did do the bracket on the slide itself in lead belcher so that it pops a little bit more. Uh, also, I didn't realize it on the first one, but on the grips there are uh, there's a number carved in on each side of the handle. So I filled it in with red to make it again pop a little bit more, and it's definitely something an Astartes would definitely do. Um, Maybe not call it in, but definitely like carve, like, you know, notch in those uh, kills. I have the Iron Hands emblem on the pistol there and then on this side as well. And then the big, um, I guess you can say what really kind of sticks out is because I have to deal with the dino holes on the Necron Blaster, I did that with a rust effect. I didn't want to repeat the rust effect, so... I figured maybe this one came in contact with some Tyranids because that's just a, 40, a Warhammer 40k uh, Xenomorph. Fight me. Uh, please don't. But I decided maybe an acid effect. And so that's what I did on here. And I have to say it came out really nice. And uh, thanks to a couple of friends who had suggested this. Um, I believe it might have been Cam. Uh, but... Yeah, they had mentioned uh, just to add a little bit of rust around the edges to, like, just show that it's aged and not fresh. So I'm like, all right, cool, I did that. And, of course, under the slide, I did the rust effect underneath it so that it does show as it's sliding. It's still, like, kind of, it definitely hit the blaster underneath it or the pistol underneath it. Um, yeah, and again, this is, uh, I took the air restrictor out. So this definitely has a nice pop to it. Uh, again, really happy with how it came out. And so, yeah. So those were the pistols that Chris asked me to do. And then there's this gigantic thing that I decided to just throw in as a thank you for all the extra parts that he did. Uh, the... Dark Angels themed, I think this is called the Eradicator. I'm not sure. I'll just put the name here because I honestly like, don't remember. But this is what the Turbo Advent should have been just with a pump grip, but we'll leave that away. Uh, but yeah, this came out so nice. I'm really happy with it. Uh, we did the Dark Angels theme on this one. So it's a black bottom with the red top and as on my Raven's Wing figure, and even on the uh, Dark Angels figure that I had before I had painted the custom one, or I think I might have shown the other one. Either way, um, they usually have like kind of blue energy or blue plasma energy or whatever, so this drum really fits with that beautifully. Um, I didn't go heavy with weathering or um, on this one, but I did add what I think is enough embellishment. We have the Dark Angels logo here, uh, painted up here and down there. Uh, painted this grill here, or at least this add-on piece. And then uh, what I also did was, is I couldn't fit my Latin um, Thy Will Be Done on here, so I just have another saying of the Dark Angels, For the Lion. Uh, it does show up a little better on camera, but in person it does, it's a much more subtle effect, which I really like. But as you can see here, I also put the Emperor's Aquila on there. So, yeah, it came out really, really nice. The only thing I would have changed, not like looking at it in hindsight, is probably have left the sly here, or um, or, with, or the priming handle, or the prime slide. I probably would have left this black, um, along with this front piece here. Like, where the grip is to prime it, I, I should have left it black, but I didn't. So, oh well. And everything still works beautifully on occasion. Um, Chris, I will let you know about that in a little letter. But yeah, overall, everything still works beautifully. And again, I did remove the airstrip from this. I didn't put in a, um, spr any spring upgrades, but just enough to give it that little bit of extra oomph. But yeah, so the commissions are done. And I have to say, I'm really, really happy with how they came out. Um, but... That is where I'm going to end it for this video. So, as always, 
If you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you think the Warhammer 40k stuff came out, or if you have suggestions or want a commission, you know, let me know in the comments below or send me an email, preferably an email for the commissions because it's easier to keep track of stuff like that. And, oh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And don't forget, we still have that P.O. box, so if you want to send some snail mail, um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. And again, thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time. Later.